All right, what's going on, y'all? Broken Games HDR here again. Is this the third day in a row I'm making a video? What a time to be alive. That's pretty rare for me nowadays, but you know, things are gonna change back to normal where I made videos regularly. I'm gonna be blessing the people soon. Soon this is gonna be very commonplace. You know, stay tuned, don't worry. I'm gonna get back into form. Um, but yeah, been making videos uh, the last few days because things have been happening the last few days that you know, you just gotta talk about. You know, when the heart and soul makes moves in the industry, you got to talk about it, right? Yesterday was actually, you know, just Konami being, you know, Konami. But the day before, we learned that PlayStation acquired Housemark. Um, and apparently, this is PlayStation Acquisition Week because they just announced that they are acquiring Nix's studio. Um, and I'm going to explain, um, you know, what I think the pros and the cons are of that acquisition and why, and obviously why they did it. And don't forget, there's also the rumor. Uh, that PlayStation is also going to be acquiring Blue Point Studios pretty soon, so maybe they'll they'll announce that this week also. Uh, by the way, I gotta say shout out to all the PlayStation insiders who once again didn't call this. You didn't you didn't see well the house mark thing. Anybody could have predicted that honestly. I mean, I predicted that. I called in April. I said depending on how Returnal does, PlayStation is gonna acquire them soon. You know that tweet is up. So you know I'm not patting myself on the back for that too much you know anybody with two eyes could see that i mean stevie wonder could have called it but us you know like i didn't really see any playstation insiders saying when that would happen i didn't see any playstation insiders said hey sony is gonna acquire nixes no they didn't call that so shout out to all the playstation insiders out there not doing their job and not really being insiders because they're a bunch of frauds but let's talk about nix's studios right so nix's studios is more or less a, a game port specialist studio. That's all they've, that's all they've done. Um, Nix's Software is an industry-leading Dutch company specializing in video game design, development, and porting. Every one of their projects is just ports, right? So, and just to name some of their projects, um, Avengers, they did the Avengers port, uh, the Shadow of the Tomb Raider port, the Rise of the Tomb Raider port, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and the original Tomb Raider port. Those are all their, all their, uh, all their projects. Um, and these were the P they did the PC ports for for all of these all of these games uh, apparently, right? Um, and they've done a, a great job at them. Um, none of these ports were were you know had any issues from. And I played all. I actually. Yeah, I've actually played all of these ports on PC besides Avengers, and yeah, I actually remember them running uh, very well. So they, they've they made a name for, the, for themselves in the industry as being these great port specialists on PC. And that right there tells you why PlayStation wanted to acquire them. Because as we know, PlayStation has, ma has made it very clear that they're going to be putting a lot of their games uh, first party games on PC, you know, the whole slate thing. And this is just another sign of that instead. So here's here's, let me get into the pros and the cons. So here's the pros, right? Of this, in my opinion, number one, it frees up any PlayStation studios from having to port the game games themselves, even though I I'm pretty sure no actual first per, first, uh, party PlayStation studio has actually worked on any of the PC ports that are actually on PC yet. Right? So but that's definitely not something they will ever have to worry about, right? The next thing, and, and you, could, you could also assume that PlayStation is going to increase the size of this studio. If, they're, if this studio is going to be the end-all be-all and your go-to studio who works on all the PlayStation first-party ports, they're probably going to have to increase the manpower in these, in these studios. So, like I said, the, the pros is no PlayStation studio will ever have to worry about uh, you know, wor worrying about a PC port, right? The other thing is, since these dudes specialize in, in ports, as I said, you can pretty much bet that you will have a, a quality and reliable uh, experience with these games on PC. Because, for example, with Horizon Zero Dawn, I can't remember the studio who worked on that PC port, it had a lot of problems at launch, right? So they don't want, they don't want none of that happening. So the other pro, or some people would consider this a con, depending on, I guess, how you look at things, 
This may point to PlayStation games possibly coming day one, like launching simultaneously with their con console counterparts on PC, as some people like to say day and date. I hate that term for some reason. I just like to say day one. So I've, I've said in the past that I think, you know, these, these ports, they're going to come a year, two years after they launch on console. Um, I don't, I, I don't see it coming day one, but this acquisition makes that a little bit more likely and a lot more possible. I still don't think it's a given. I still think PlayStation strategy is they want to get as many people to play it on PlayStation and be in the PlayStation ecosystem and buy a PlayStation 5. And then when, you know, that audience is kind of exhausted and it's that game is saturated in the market and it's no longer selling, you reintroduce the game on PC again you, to, to get people to double. Some people will double dip and also the audience the, that audience who would actually wait for it to come to PC and just won't buy it on console. So I think that's what they're they're kind of going for. But once again, it does make it more likely and possible that they may in the future go for a uh, a, a day one simultaneous sim simultaneous launch on PC and console. Right. And once again, that's a good or bad thing, depending on who you ask. Right. Because there's some people who think that, uh, you know, they don't, some people that don't want uh, PlayStation games on PC at all. There's some people who are okay with PlayStation games being on PC. They just don't want it on PC day one. So that's a pro or a con, depending on how you, on who you ask. Um, the negative, right? So I'm okay with this acquisition as long as, you know, I, 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 assuming, I assume they didn't break the bank. For, for this acquisition. This was probably, it's, it's a good acquisition, um, in, in my opinion, because they probably didn't break the bank, um, because this is a studio that's literally only work, worked on ports, right? It's not like they own, this studio doesn't own any actual IPs. They're just, uh, you know, they're just technical experts when it comes to porting, porting games, right? So they couldn't have been that much because they don't own a lot of assets. They don't own any IPs, you know, they, They've been in the industry 15 years, but even in those 15 years, they've only done one, two, three, four, five ports. Um, so, you know, that's a that's a decent amount, you know, because especially since they're they're quality ports. But there's been there's some studios that has been that has been around uh, in that amount of time and, and, and done way more, uh, whether it's ports or original games. Right. Um, so. I guess the 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 negative I looked at it as is okay you 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 acquired this studio um it's clearly for them to specialize to porting PlayStation games to PC and I you know I buy these PlayStation games on on PC so I'm happy about that but I also felt like uh eh, this is something that you know you could you could always contract out to um you could always contract out to a, to a team to do and and yes i pointed out the con to that is sometimes you'll get like an unreliable uh job done like the horizon like with horizon zero dawn on pc right but still you could contract out uh you can make the argument was actually owning a studio that that's just for ports absolutely needed you can make that argument that it that it could be needed or it wasn't absolutely needed right you, you can make that argument so that was that was kind of like my con with it. Um, you could always contract these type of studios. And the thing is, like, with Nix's, PlayStation, you could argue that, you know, and once again, people don't understand the word organic. Uh, like, for example, PlayStation's acquisition of Housemark was organic because they have pretty much only made PlayStation games, like, their entire existence. There was only, like, one time they made a game that wasn't a PlayStation game, so that was organic. As far as I know... And based on this project, I mean, none of these games are PlayStation exclusives. So I don't think, like, you could you you could definitely say that PlayStation's relationship with Nix's isn't as close as it was with Housemark. So this wasn't exactly organic. You could make the case that they could have, uh, I guess, built a longer relationship and and probably got Nix's to make their games for them, um, make these ports for them without acquiring them. At least at least get them to make it for a while without acquiring them.
right? The other, I guess, negative is like this. You could look at this as a as another um, support studio. Now, support studios are the unsung hero. Support studios help a lot of games get done, like Sony X Dev. Uh, Japan Studios was a, you know, technically a support studio. So yeah, this is pretty much just another support studio, even though, like I said, they're needed. Um, but PlayStation already has some other uh, support. They have, I feel like they have like two or three support studios. So, and then you look at the, um, you look at the, the, the likely acquisition of Bluepoint coming and it's like, okay, well, is Bluepoint, the question people are asking, is Blue Point going to be making only remakes, or are they also going to eventually create original IPs? I think Blue Point um, has said they want to create some original IPs. So I guess my point is with acquisitions, what I always want is for like original IPs to be the fruit of all acquisitions, right? With this being a support studio, Nix's. Obviously, we're not going to get any, probably not going to get any original IPs out of it unless they maybe decide to split the studio and like they, they have a, a little, a smaller team that may work on something small and original. Doesn't have to be AAA or anything like that. So that's the only possible of, of that happening. I don't know, right? I don't know. Um, so I guess, you know, those are the pros and cons of, of, of this, of this move, um, not against it, you know. I I, I know it's a, a a move. It's it's a move that signals they're very serious about PC, obviously. And you know, I play 80, 90 percent of my games on PC, so I'm not mad at it in, in that aspect. I just always care about new games and new IPs, and I want every move to be uh, conducive of that. So, um, yeah, not a not a not a bad move. It's not like you know, it's not like a blog post move necessarily. I don't think even think the PlayStation official Twitter, um, I don't even think the PlayStation official Twitter even put up like, you know, the post with the, with the logo and, and, and everything like they did with house Mark, like they probably going to do with blue point. I don't even know. I don't even think they did that. Let me go to the PlayStation official Twitter right now. Yeah. They, they didn't even announce it because they, they, I think they're acknowledging that it's not necessarily that big of a deal. They'll they'll probably get a blog post on the on the PlayStation site. If you go to Nix's website, they've announced it on on their website. Which, by the way, uh, their webs apparently so many people have are trying to access their website. When you try to go to Nix's.com, at least as a t at the time I'm making this video, it says resource limit is reached. I can get it on my phone, but for some reason I can't get it. I can't get to it on my PC. Um, so a lot of people are probably curious, like, wait, what did Nixes make again? Yeah, they're just they're just a PC port specialist. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not mad at this move. It's nothing necessarily to get excited about or or backflip about. It's a it, but it is a strate strategic move. Um, yeah. So they're they're definitely getting more. Uh, you know, PC players are definitely excited about this. Uh, PlayStation only gamers probably like, eh, they, you know, this is not really something uh, for uh, this is not really something for them to get excited about necessarily. So, yeah. And um, yeah. So let me know what y'all think about this move. Um, let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Appreciate all y'all support, all y'all views, you know, hit that notification bell so you can only any time I make a video, the video's about to start ramping up. So make sure, yeah, you know, y'all, y'all stay, y'all stay tuned and pay attention. Um, hit the join button, support the channel. And uh, there may be a Weapon World podcast. I mean, there should be. I mean, you know, it might be a B team because, you know, uh, you know, the, the team is uh, the A team is, uh, you know, they want to go outside on, on, on 4th of July and, you know, all this other jazz and stuff like that. So I don't know how it's going to be, but the, there'll probably be an episode. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button, uh, notification bell, subscribe if you're not, hit the join button, become a member, all that good stuff. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.